On Monday, painter, art critic, essayist, fiction writer and the 1972 Booker Prize winner, John Berger passed away at the age of 90. He was a visionary who helped redefine the way a generation looked at and perceived art. We now have Showcase's Miranda Atty with us to talk about how he influenced a generation of writers. Hello, Miranda, thank you for joining us. Miranda, what made him a prominent figure as a writer and critic? It was his ability to listen, his ability to listen and to tell stories. We think of him as an art critic, but in John Berger's mind, he was a storyteller, that's it. And for him, storytelling was all about collaboration. Collaboration with, of course, his subject, but most importantly, collaboration with the reader or the viewer. And I think that that's what we can see in his seminal work, The Ways of Seeing, which is really probably what he's most famous for. It was a 1972 four-part documentary by the BBC, and in it he really upended the way that we think about art criticism, the way that we look at art and the way that we uh, consider it. Um, he, he focused on not uh, techniques, not history, but he focused on looking at art with the understanding of the political and the social context in which we live and it completely changed the way that people thought about art the way they looked at it and the other important thing to mention is that he he was really he really really spoke to a lot of people and everybody that that's spoken about him since his death they've said that he was such a nice person and that came across on screen mm -hmm. Well, he was a philanthropist and he believed in the power of art to influence life and the way we think. What else can you tell us about John Berger? He was also very political. He was Marxist through and through, very kind of leftist. Mm -hmm. uh, but alongside that, he was an incredible fiction writer. And one story which I think sort of really encapsulates his character is that he actually won the Booker Prize also in 1972 for his experimental novel, G. He was awarded the Booker Prize and he decided to actually spend half the money uh, donating that to the London-based Black Panthers because he said that the sponsors of the Booker Prize had um, things to kind of atone for, as it were, in the Caribbean in the way that they dealt with uh, trade over there. Right. And that was a really kind of encapsulated his character, I think. Mm -hmm. What was his portrayal of the, the way women have been portrayed in art? Once again, that goes back to his work, The Ways of Seeing, both his documentary and it was later turned into a spin-off book. And I think what he did is he sort of forced people to confront the way that women are portrayed in art. He, he made us think about art as a commodity, but he also made us think about women as objects within art. He very much focused on the female nude, but he focused on it from the perspective of the male gaze. And he said that um, men dream of women and women dream of being dreamt of by men. He also said that men look at women and women watch themselves being looked at by men. It's very much a focus on the male gaze and positioning women in a particular uh, situation and often nude within art, but he used this kind of idea of the female gaze or being gazed upon uh, to talk about wider societal issues and kind of wider themes on that as well. Mm -hmm. So what have reactions been to his death? Um, reaction has been very, very sad, of course, but I think that also people have used this as a, a time to reflect on many of the things that he said, many of the things that he kind of taught. Of course, the ways of seeing has been taught in many universities mm -hmm. and a lot of it is very quotable. And we've seen a lot of that on social media. We've seen a lot of Twitter posts, sort of just quoting some things that he said that really struck people. And um, actually one thing that was said about him whilst he was still alive, but kind of reflecting on his life by the author Ali Smith. She said that he was an insister on open eyes. And I think that really kind of sums up what he was about, particularly with his art criticism. He really forced people to actually consider the way that they looked at art, their preconceptions, and considering it within the context of their own life, what they thought about art. Mm -hmm. And um, the, other, the other kind of quote that's been floating around a lot on social media since his death is that um, the relationship between what we see and what we know is never settled. And I think that's as true today as it was in the 70s when, when mm -hmm. he said it first.
Great. Miranda Atty, thank you very much for joining us.